Hi, it's Sandra from asexualized.com and author of Asexual Perspectives out on Amazon. So why do some asexuals have sex? This is a question that is on a lot of people's minds. So there is the assumption that if you're asexual, you've never had sex, you don't want it, you never need it, you're not having it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so in general, asexuals do not get the urge, need or want for sex. That's what makes us asexual. We don't experience sexual attraction. So sexual attraction basically is the need, urge or want for partnered sex. That's what it is. So basically, we don't experience that. But that does not mean to say we don't have sex, some of us, or we haven't had it in the past. So in my specific case, I have had sex in the past. And so you might think, so why, if someone's asexual, would they have had sex in the past? So for me, it's because I thought I had to as part of a relationship. I thought it was expected of me and I thought that's what I was meant to be doing. And I also thought I was heterosexual. I didn't know I was asexual, you know, but when my my partner at the time, he would try to instigate sex by coming up behind me and touching my breasts when I was doing the washing up. I hate washing up, but I would rather have stayed doing the washing up, you know, and I've had sex with more than one person. I've had sex with five guys um, in my life, all were boyfriends at the time because I don't have sex outside of relationship. That's just uh, my rule that I've had in the past. And, um, you know, out of all the guys I had sex with, the last guy I was in a long-term relationship with, he was the best at it. He was actually good at it. But it wasn't really the sex that he was good at so much as the foreplay and all that that type of thing. That's what I actually enjoyed rather than the sex. But because he did that, it made the sex more, you know, it made the sex not so bad for me, if you see what I mean. But for some, sometimes we didn't do that for two or three months. So it wasn't, as I would say, like a normal sexual relationship where people are having sex like regularly, as in once a week or once a day or, you know, it wasn't even once a month all the time. So, you know, I had it less than some other people, but then I would have it like three times or whatever, just get it all out of the way if I was doing it in a night, you know, because I'd be like, let's just get out of the way, let's just please him and get it done, you know, so um, it was more out of a sense of duty, out of a sense of what I thought was um, meant to be the case, and I thought I was a heterosexual, I didn't know any different, now I know that I experience high levels of arousal, but I never experience sexual attraction, I never get the need, urge or want for sex, but I experience high levels of arousal, which can make my body pound in that way, you know, my body has different ideas to my mind these days but um, my mind is definitely I don't want sex anymore so now I'm a sex repulsed asexual you know (laughs) I've gone from having sex in the past in my past relationships to find out I'm asexual and realizing that I'm sex repulsed because I can't have sex anymore I just can't the whole you know I just can't bring myself to do it I just don't want it in my mind my body might have different ideas my body might be going rah 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 but I don't want it so that's where I stand on it and um I love kissing though. I could kiss till the cows come home, to be quite honest. I absolutely adore kissing. Um, It's my favourite thing to do in a relationship, really, other than chat and um, obviously be best friends. So I absolutely adore it like a hobby. Um, So why do sexuals and why do asexuals have sex when they know they're asexual right why would they do that why in their right mind would they do that that's what you might think and i as an outsider might think that too but some asexuals like sex as a as an activity to do like a board game you know they they feel the physical pleasure in it which is probably the arousal and the orgasm but they don't you know even though they don't experience the attraction but because they don't experience attraction it doesn't bother them that they're having sex without the attraction. They may not get the need to urge or want for it, but when their partner decides to actually instigate the activity, because usually if the asexual doesn't feel the urge, need or want to have sex, they would never usually instigate it unless they got addicted to the actual arousal and the actual, you know, feeling of the, the sexual experience, as it were then it would usually be the other part, you know, their partner that instigated it and they like will take part and it's like a game to them sometimes, a game as in the sense of, uh, you know, an activity they like to do and they might like the experience of it. So um, I guess some asexuals might even like the closeness of it as well 
and the inter emotional intimacy, which is what sexuals really like about sex. Sexuals tend to like sex, not just for the physical stimuli, but that's very, very important to a lot of sexuals, but also the physical intimacy with their partner. The difference with asexuals and sexuals, I've found, is that asexuals are a lot more focused on other things about holding the relationship together than sex. So sexuals, a lot of the time, will base their original decision on where to get in a relationship or not on the sexual activity that's going on between those them and that other person or persons. You know, that's what they will do. And when they get into a relationship and it's based on that physicality, that, you know, strong emotional connection, that chemistry and the physical sex. And when they adore the physical sex so much and they need it and want it, they want to spend more time with that person because they get that sex from them. Whereas with asexuality, you know, for asexuals who don't need or want or get the urge for sex, when they are making a decision about a sexual person being with them or another asexual, they're basing it more on if they're going to get on with them, if they're going to have the same hobbies, the same interests, you know, and if they can get on like friends with each other because the sex issue isn't there for them as in it isn't a need for them. It's only an issue if they're with the sexual and it's an issue for the sexual about whether they have it or not. And there are some asexuals that will have sex just to please their partner and they don't really like it. And this is the area that I don't like talking about because it's very personally upsetting for me because I feel that asexuals are basically, you know, having to use and abuse themselves to please their partner, to keep the love of a person. And that's just horrible. It's horrible for the asexual. It's absolutely disgusting. But from the sexual's point of view, they need that. They want it. It's like part of who they are and part of their needs in a relationship so from a sexual point of view if an asexual is not having sex with them it feels like they're being rejected that's how a sexual sees it a lot of the time who you know a sexual who needs and wants sex in a relationship they see it as being rejected they see it as that person not finding them sexually attractive not wanting to be with them not desiring them so it's huge rejection to them but for asexuals who are putting themselves through this, it's just horrible. You know, you'll read um, about in my Asexual Perspectives book that one of the people I interviewed on there, they're married to a sexual person and they're watching the clock to get it over and done with and they have it once a week for their partner, even though their partner knows that they don't really want to do that. And I just think that's so sad. You know, that's just horrible. And that's why I won't have sex again, because it's like self-abuse to me. Unless I change my mind years later and decide, oh, I'm still asexual, but I want sex because I just want to do that. It's not going to happen. And I've got the complete opposite of that, you know. I can't even date sexuals anymore because I know at the end of the day they're going to want sex. And okay, yes, I dated a heterosexual guy for a couple of months last year, I gave it a go. And the reason I did was because in my Asexual Perspectives book, there is someone in there who's asexual and they're with a bisexual person. And that person, um, you know, didn't care that they didn't want sex. It wasn't an issue for them. So if you check out my book, you'll find that story in there. And that's amazing. It gave me hope. And there are other asexuals who are with sexuals and they say it's working and good for them I'm really pleased for them so you know never say never and there are some asexuals that will have a low sex drive and I think they're more likely to be able to have a relationship with an asexual to be honest long-lasting relationship but a low sex drive is not the same as not wanting it at all do you see what I mean so I think to be fair usually um it's good if both partners want the same thing However, if a sexual feels that they can live forever without sex and be with an asexual, then that's up to them. If they feel they can do it, why not? And I'd like to think there are a few sexuals in the world that can do that. They will do that and they're happy doing that. I've seen them on YouTube. I have seen them on YouTube where there's... Um, I obviously watch a lot of videos where it's guys with girls because I'm um, hetero uh, romantic. I'm only interested in guys. 
So, um, yeah, I've seen someone there where they are in relationships, asexuals are in relationships with sexuals, and it seems to be working out. You know, I have it in the back of my mind that maybe it won't work out in the future, but, you know, some people make it work without sex. And if a sexual gets into a relationship with asexual and the asexual person being very upfront saying they never want sex in their life if they don't want sex in their life and a sexual's got into that relationship yes the sexual has the right to change their mind just like an asexual person has the right to change their mind about being with a sexual but the sexual cannot then expect the asexual to then want sex because that's unfair that's unreasonable and they should never have got into the relationship in the first place and just put the asexual under that pressure. It's disgusting and it's not on. So if you are sexual and you're thinking about being with an asexual and the asexual sex repulsed or they just can't have sex for whatever reason, you know, then don't expect it and don't be with the asexual person if you can't live and love with them without sex, you know, especially if they're monogamous. If they're poly and they don't mind you having sex with someone else, that's fair enough. But for people like myself who are monogamous, you know, I expect the same monogamy, whether I'm with a sexual or an asexual, than I do, you know, if a sexual and sexual person together. But I tend to not, you know, I, ha I gave it one last go last year about dating a heterosexual. It was a nightmare for me because even though he didn't have sex with me, I wasn't even naked with him. I worried about him, you know, going off with another woman or having sex with other women. I don't want that in my head. I'd rather leave heterosexuals to have their sex with other sexuals and me carry on looking for a suitable asexual guy for me. So that's what I'm doing. And until then, I'm very happy being single. But I hope that's explained for you in this video why some asexuals have sex and uh, whether it's because they're in a relationship or pre, um, you know, pre finding out they're asexual, basically. So before they found out they're asexual. So I hope that's cleared it up. I hope you understood that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think it'd be useful to someone, please share it. And as always, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of every time I post a new video. And until next time, embrace your quirky and each other's don't forget to comment down below i'd love to hear your thoughts on this i'd love to get your feedback on why asexuals sometimes have sex and i will see you on the next video Bye bye